Hello, WCC USD community. I hope that you've had a good first week back after spring break. This week, I once again am privileged to see our students and educators back in our classrooms, working to explore new concepts, build skills, and build community. It's vitally important that we continue to grow strong educational programs that serve all of our students, even as our school districts across the country face challenges of declining enrollment and a changing economy. Our district is not unique in facing economic challenges over the last few years. My staff and I, with the help of your feedback, have been working to find the best possible solutions for our community. In spite of the economic challenges that we face, we'll continue to be transparent and commit to the work of growing the educational programs that WCCUSD students need and deserve. On March 22nd, we received a letter from the Contra Costa County Office of Education stating that our district may be unable to meet its financial obligations and the local authority of our governing board would be limited. Since that time, we've been working with the county to understand the impact of this determination. I wanna share the facts about this matter with you directly. The county's decision reflects a financial reality that will undoubtedly have a direct impact on our schools and our students. In order to take prudent steps moving forward, it's critical that we understand our fiscal reality as a whole community. We've had a recurrent structural deficit since the 2019-2020 school year. This has been exacerbated by the statewide enrollment drop since the COVID-19 pandemic. Throughout the past three years, our staff has worked to resolve this budgetary imbalance while paying careful attention to the needs of our students and the economic needs of our staff. Without a doubt, caring for a school system at this moment in history is no simple task. The letter from the County Office of Education stated that the following remedial actions will occur effective immediately. The Contra Costa County Office of Education will appoint a fiscal advisor to perform fiscal oversight duties of our local Board of Education as outlined in California Education Code 4217.6. This advisor will be Javetta Cleveland, who is previously appointed as our fiscal advisor. Ms. Cleveland has stay and rescind authority over the board which means that she has authority to stop any action of our local board that she determines to be inconsistent with the ability of the district to meet its obligations for the current or subsequent fiscal year. Before May 15, 2023, Ms. Cleveland will work with the district administration and the board to identify budget reductions to account for reductions that were not made during the March 15, 2023 board meeting. Before July 1st, 2023, the County Fiscal Advisor will work in consultation with the District Board to adopt a balanced budget. If WCCUSD is unable to adopt a balanced budget by July 1st, the County may exercise its authority to withhold the stipends of our Board of Trustees. You may be wondering why this is occurring now, given that our District received a positive budget certification as recently as January. Like many districts across the state and country, we're currently facing declining enrollment, which impacts our ability to fund staffing at the same levels that we have historically. We need to take remedial actions over the course of the past three years in order to regain fiscal health. Prior to January, staff and the board were on track to make the necessary reductions in pursuit of fiscal health. And as a result, the county gave us a positive budget certification. On February 7, 2023, our board was notified of the county's obligation to assess the fiscal health of the district and to take remedial actions as necessary if it determined that the district was unable to make the decisions necessary to maintain the fiscal health of the district. At the March 15, 2023 Board of Education meeting, our board set with a hard decision to make about staffing for the next year. Ultimately, the board made a decision to not approve two resolutions that would reduce staff. In light of our district's declining enrollment and our need to decrease expenditures, the county determined that the board's decision deviated from our path toward fiscal solvency. So what does this mean for our community? You should anticipate that our county fiscal advisor and the Board of Education will be working to make tough financial decisions over the next few months in order to ensure that we balance our budget by July 2023. It's reasonable to anticipate that any further reductions may directly impact student programs. 
We want you to be prepared for the impact of these decisions, and we encourage you to continue to participate in local democratic oversight of our schools by attending board meetings and engaging with our board trustees. Community voice is a vital source of information for our district leadership. Your input and support has navigated the return to in-person learning, labor negotiations, and more. Open conversations will continue to be essential as we navigate this next period of transition and find the best solutions for our community. Thank you.